Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to test out the fluid watercolor paper. This was sent to me a long time ago. Hopefully the paper hasn't expired. So I'll be using pen and ink. I'll be using watercolor as well as pencil on the paper to see how the paper performs. This particular block of paper that I have here is called Easy Block. And there are 15 sheets of paper bound on two edges, the top and bottom. The paper is acid free, the paper weight is 300 GSM and the texture on the paper, it's cold pressed. This paper is available in many different sizes, the usual watercolor sizes and it also has the square format. On the back here it says the paper was made in an European mill and then assembled and made in USA by Global Art Materials. There is no mention of any cotton content, so this paper is just a basic cellulose watercolor paper. Now Fluid has another line called Fluid 100. Fluid 100 is the one that uses 100% cotton watercolor paper. All right, let's draw something. So this block has been with me for probably more than a year and the paper still looks very white, there is no yellowing, so this is great. The ink that I'm going to use is Dr. PH Martin's Bombay India ink. This color is crimson, and I'm going to use this glass dip pen to dip into the bottle to draw with it. This is pigmented ink, and it's going to be waterproof when dry. By the way, I have a full review for this ink on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to check out that video, the link will be in the video description below. I also have the review for this glass dip pen that I'm using right now. So when the ink is dry, I will be coloring this pen and ink sketch with watercolor. It looks like pen and ink works pretty well on this paper. Oops, I accidentally put too much ink here. The lines, they look very solid. There is no feathering. The lines have very solid edges, which is nice. Let's clean this up and see what happens. Let me draw with my fountain pen as well. Same thing, the ink lines they are very solid and lastly we have pencil the cold press texture of this watercolor paper it's really nice to draw on. And now let's use watercolor. The first thing I want to test is wet on wet techniques. So I'm going to wet the paper first and see how the colors, how the paint would react on this paper. Usually for cellulose paper, um, watercolor paint, they don't flow as freely compared to on cotton paper. So it seems like the paper is able to soak up the water quite nicely. So I'm going to see if this color can blend into the white of the paper. This part here seems like it's not wet properly. So now I'm going to fit this into the white of the paper with a clean brush and I'm going to pick up the excess paint. Next, I'm going to mix a gray with ultramarine and burnt sienna or burnt umber. And use this to color, to put in some shadows. The paper feels nice to work with.
for this boy here I'm going to paint the shirt yellow and then we will charge in some red paint to see if the color can spread out can diffuse nicely let's do it again here For the bottom, let's go with burnt umber. So some parts have not dried yet. Let's paint some skin tones. This is Payne's Grey. Let me glaze over this back with another layer. Here as well. The glue at the top and bottom edges of this watercolor block really helps prevent the paper from buckling. The paper weight of 300 GSM helps as well. Right, the watercolor has dried. Now from what I can see, the water and the paint, they are able to move and the paint is able to sort of diffuse. Not as soft compared to 100% cotton paper, but this is actually very good. This soft transition of color is what I'm looking for on lousy watercolor paper. This soft transition of color is what I'm looking for on low quality watercolor paper. The transition will not be as soft as this, the transition will be very abrupt. So this is very nice because sometimes you want the colors to blend softly into one another. There is some soft transition here as well. And the colors, they are able to retain their vibrancy on this paper. So if you want to make color swatches, this is actually a pretty nice paper to paint on. The colors, uh, they are very bright, they are very vibrant on this paper. See this color transition here? Now I paint it. See this color transition here? This is a bit abrupt, but the edges are still soft. I painted the yellow first and then I charge in the red, hoping that it would diffuse out softly. Now if you know what you're doing, you can actually make this a bit softer such as what I have done here. You can see the transition from this color to this color. This is so much smoother. And here as well. This cold press textured paper is a bit smooth. The texture is quite similar to those fine grain cartridge drawing paper, but definitely not as sandy compared to the 100% cotton paper. There is some granulation. Now on paper that is a bit rougher, like on rougher cold press paper, the granulation, the texture will be more obvious. Works really well with ink and works great with pencils as well. This paper performs better than I expected, so overall I will give it a thumbs up. And that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you happen to be using Fluid Watercolor Paper or the Fluid 100 Watercolor Paper, I would like to find out what you think about the paper and whether you like it or not. So thanks for watching today's video. See you in the next one. Bye!